Live coverage from the UN, the ambassador of Iraq to the United Nations speaking right now on the humanitarian aid that's being sent to his country. Let's listen in. Government of Iraq and this uh, uh, really dangerous situation. And as, as well, it was a request uh, by the government of Iraq uh, specifically to um, when it needs uh, military help uh, while the capital will be available uh, to help us in that uh, uh, area. Can you, just grab Can you just grab your government's airdrops to, to, to the Yazidis and others that are in the mountains that have, you know, reportedly no water, no food? How much have you dropped and how many people remain to be? Well, it started today, so we, I don't really have enough uh, quantity and, uh, of that yet. I don't have enough information to give you, so I, it will be, you know, uh, solid. Is there any anti-aircraft fire by ISIL or ISIS or whichever you're I, calling I haven't heard that yet, okay. so uh, there is no indication. How would, you describe, how, how would you describe it and what would you say? You just mentioned that some kind of intervention is already going on. You, you mentioned humanitarian, but would you describe it as the military intervention? And that, is that what you are looking for, actually? Well, it's definitely at certain points that uh, the capitals, uh, we are working with, with specifically with Washington right now and getting the right approach to uh, if we needed any uh, uh, military intervention. And it's going to be uh, mostly uh, uh, from the air at, at the start with. So we have not yet have determined that yet. So, 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 so do you mean that uh, you're calling uh, uh, for the Security Council to adopt a resolution with a mandate that gives the uh, authority for any intervention uh, from a third party or from any other country in Arabic and English? No, we, ha we, we, have, we have already asked in a letter to both uh, the General Secretary as well as the Security Council President that Iraq may require logistics help as well as help in equipment military equipment. So we, we had the letter about three weeks ago, and we said that Iraq provided that the government of Iraq agreed to that, and it's really within the sovereignty of Iraq. That's really, these are the elements. In terms of the Security Council, there are issues that I met with the President uh, uh, a couple of days ago, and that there is a resolution. It's going to be specifically on ISIL, and, uh, uh, and, and kindly enough, the, the, the British uh, uh, team are working on uh, issuing that particular resolution with, with the team. And I will get back to you in Arabic. Okay. Ambassador, are you um, asking for airstrikes on ISIL targets in Iraq, and have you heard any reports that there that U.S. airstrikes have started already? Uh, there is no today, but the, uh, there is uh, uh, today uh, there is some communication between Baghdad and Washington on that uh, issues, but there is no uh, strike has been done yet. Ambassador, how grave is the situation, and how quickly do you need to see uh, support, military support, to, to turn the tide here? Uh, very grave in terms of humanitarian issues, very quickly in terms of humanitarian issues, because these are really what it is. There are a lot of uh, people are really moving into the mountains, and we need to help them very quickly, especially women and children and old people. And these are the things that we need at uh, uh, priority one right now. At this in terms point. of military action, though, in terms of time. military action, as I said, it's going to be it's it's really working out at the moment between uh, uh, the capitals. So I really don't have an exact uh, things Let on me that. Rephrase it. Did you need the air power yesterday? I mean, are, is, are we late in the game? How how fast are things moving? Well, Iraqi air powers is actually supporting the Beish Marga today on the ground. So we we do have some air power is going through through that. But uh, uh, we will uh, decide at certain point uh, that the government, if they need any more uh, help, they will ask for uh, for it. And so do I don't have right now any. Do you consider, do you consider to uh, call uh, uh, for help for a military like Turkey or so? Right now, we have not asked our neighbor to interfere at this point. Ambassador, 
تحدثت مع الولايات المتحدة فرنسا وبريطانيا للمساعدة العسكرية ماذا بشأن روسيا التي قدمت لكم مساعدة عسكرية من قبل من ناحية الدول أنا أتمنى أن تكون هناك دول تساعد داعش بصراحة يعني هذا إذا كانت هناك دول تساعد داعش فلدينا مشكلة كبيرة All right, you have been listening to a live press conference from the UN ambassador from Iraq talking about the humanitarian crisis in his country. We want to change gears to Wall Street and the closing bell now as we leave.